Scale Automotive Modelers, welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. I was fortunate to connect with Charlie over at ProTech Model Parts regarding an upcoming factory stock class build that I had in the works. I worked with Charlie on what I was looking for and he was able to give me direction on what would work best within my vision for the build. In this video I will be building this distributor kit to show how easy it is, giving tips and tricks along the way, and show how to make an L-shaped spark plug boot. Out of our conversation came these three items for the distributor I was needing. The first item is part number PTMC65, which is the distributor kit. I have used a few ProTech products in the past, including their different braided line sizes. On the back side of the packaging, you will find very descriptive steps that identify how to build a distributor kit. Here's part number PTMC1, which is a spark plug wire. The back of the product packaging identifies how to install these using the distributor kit. The final item is part number PTMC4, which are the spark plug boots. Charlie gave you enough of this material in the distributor kit to install at the distributor cap. However, I wanted extra for the spark plug boots that will be installed where the spark plugs will be on the engine. Let's go over what I will be using for tools in this video. My glue of choice will be BSI Industries Max Secure Thick CA Glue. For those who want the glue to dry quick, you can also use an accelerator of your choice, however I have ends to set. I will be using an applicator like this one to use to glue everything together. You can also use a toothpick or whatever you feel comfortable with. This is a tattoo ink cup I use as a glue cup. I can get 500 of these for under 10 bucks on Amazon and they are biodegradable and safe for the environment. I will be using a hobby knife with the number 11 blade. Here is the pin vise I will be using that already has the number 74 drill bit installed. Here's also an example of a drill bit set if anyone is curious. You can find these on Amazon, eBay, and Micromart to name a few. I have a set of basic metal tweezers. This is great for placing the spark plug wire into the small holes that the number 74 drill bit will make on the distributor cap. A ruler is a good tool to have if you need to do any measuring, which we'll need in this instance to measure the spark plug wire and the spark plug glutes to certain lengths. Here are the ultimate modeling product sanding sticks that will be used on the distributor cap. I will use both coarse and fine grit to sand the resin distributor cap for painting. Let's open up the distributor cap and get to building. Here's the distributor cap and how it looks out of the package. The holes are well defined for this piece composed of resin. It shouldn't be hard to drill the holes out. We will start with sanding down the bottom of the distributor cap to make it level so it can be glued to the distributor base in the upcoming steps. I'll first sand the bottom of the distributor cap with the coarse grit and then move on to the fine grit sanding stick. The next step we'll be using the pin vise with the number 74 drill bit to drill out all 9 spark plug wire holes on the distributor cap. You will want to drill down about halfway for each hole. Alright, here's the distributor cap with all 9 holes drilled out as per the instructions using the number 74 drill bit. It didn't take much effort or time to drill out the holes, however I wanted to make sure I didn't screw it up. As many say, slow and steady wins the race. I forgot to mention, but the reason for drilling down halfway for each hole is because in the past I didn't drill down far enough and it didn't give the spark plug wire enough of a tunnel to be stable once glued. Now we will start to cut up 8 spark plug boots and a ninth plug for the coil. We will get out a pa my paper ruler here, as the instructions indicate, and cut each boot to 1 16th of an inch. My ruler starts off at 1 8th of an inch under the first notch, so I will cut the boots to half that size and that notch of the ruler.
Here's a single boot that I've cut. We'll return once all nine are cut and we'll move forward from there. Here are the nine boots cut and I use a little over half of the boot plug wire that was given in the kit. I will keep this for the next distributor that I should be able to make another nine boots out of it. Next, we'll be moving on to the spark plug wire. Let's open the spark plug wire package and unwind the wire. I will be making eight individual spark plug wires at two and a half inches each and a single coil wire that will be three inches. I use these measurements as it gives me a little more than I need, but not too much to be wasteful. This time, I will be using my mat to measure the wire to make it easier to cut. If you are enjoying this video so far and are not currently subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button while you watch this video and hit the notification bell to be notified of when I upload the next video. I will return once all nine wires have been cut. I am back finishing up my last cut for the ninth wire. You can see how much wire is left, which isn't enough for another distributor. However, I can use this for electrical lines in the future builds or any other line that would use this type of gauge. Here are all nine wires. I will just get all of these and straighten them out and place them to the side. Next, I'll be showing a tip on how to make L-shaped boots where the spark plug wire connects the spark plug on the engine. Alright, here is a mini how-to within this build video. This spark plug boot package comes with several boots that can be cut half that will give you roughly 1 16th of an inch if you are needing more spark plug boots for distributors. However, in this example, I am going to just take a single spark plug boot here and cut it into an L-shaped spark plug. We just need to take out our hobby knife and cut a small V in the middle of the boot, keeping the outer side of the boot still intact as to not accidentally cut through it and unfortunately make two boots in that instance. Let's get a closer look to see the cut of the V and how I do it. Alright, I hope the close up works, but there is a small V incision on the boot and all we need to do is pull the V out of the boot like so, which allows the boot to fold into an L shape. Now I will get my Tattoo Ink glue cup and my BSI Maxi Cure CA glue. Let's take the applicator and get some glue on it and put it in the spot where I removed the bead. Since you've made it this far in the video, please hit that like button. This helps me out and it's free for you to do. We'll place the glue applicator on the mat and now we fold the boot, putting pressure and holding down for a few seconds. If you let go too early and the L is not nice and straight, just apply a little more pressure for a bit longer. As you can see, I didn't hold the boot down together long enough, so I just put a little more pressure on it and now it has the L shape. Let's get back to building the distributor. All we have to do now is start gluing everything together and the distributor cap will be complete. I painted the distributor cap semi-gloss black. I use a chopstick with an alligator clip at the end along with a piece of double-sized sticky tape to hold the distributor cap in place while I painted it. The first step to gluing all the parts is gluing the painted distributor cap to the distributor base. I will need to get some more glue and use my applicator to glue the two pieces together.
Here we are making the two pieces make contact. I double check to make sure the sugar cap is centered on the base. For the spark plug wires, I will just lightly dab them into the glue and then place them into each of the nine holes. I will install the first two spark plug wires here in view and then I'll return once all the remaining of them have been installed. If you have used any of Charlie's products in your builds, comment below which products you've used and give me your opinion on his products. Here is the distributor cap at its current state with all nine wires glued into the cap. As we can see, no glue showing as you only need a very small amount for these wires to stay in the holes. I placed the boots on the distributor off camera as it was hard to record while trying to get these boots to slide onto the wire. We can see that the distributor looks like the boots, however the boots are not glued. I will show you how I glue the boots using my applicator. All I need to do is raise the boot up slightly lay a very small amount of glue to the base of the wire and slide the boot back down over the wire. And it's that simple. I gotta give a shout out to Charlie where credit is due. He's a very down to earth guy who is a modeler himself and is easy to talk to. All the pictures on my thumbnail are of his builds showing off his engine detail and his products alone from ProTech. I will be buying more ProTech stuff in the future from Charlie for other builds that will be showcased here on my channel. You can find ProTex information in the description below. There are also distributors who attend swap meets and contests with Charlie's product as well that you can find. So be on the lookout at the next modeling event you attend and check out the product for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button. It really helps me out and allows me to get more content to all of you to view.